as we look at Bella and Baylor, who are just doing a wonderful job uh, being polite with the camera this morning. But anytime animal control heads out to one of these events and they have to rescue the dog from the car, they will track down the pet owner eventually, and that pet owner will be charged with animal cruelty, which is a felony. Guys, back to you. We've got a proud mama watching very closely, yeah. Bella and Baylor. But Jeff, you make excellent points. You really have to be careful because it's so hot in those cars. I, oh. I just won't. Not even on a cool day. I just won't. Look at them. Oh my goodness, they're so <laughs> cute. Just I, you know, I, I, I'm thinking that Bella wants to take this for a ride. She's clearly just hanging out in the driver's seat yeah. waiting yeah. to go. Well, so. I hope they don't leave a little surprise for you when you get back well, in that car either. Yeah. Well, so well we can go potty. it's okay if they do that, Dan, because it is a work vehicle. Oh, there, there you go. Right. There you go. <laughs> but you don't want to leave your pets outside. In fact, I added a couple things for the animals that we're showing off here. We've got uh, Bella and Baylor. I added a water dish. Uh, if you do leave them outside, if you absolutely have to, at least give them some water and give them some shelter too. You'll notice that I uh, gave them a little cardboard box. Uh, that's not ideal. They're still gonna get hot in there, but uh, at least that's something. One thing to keep in mind is that if you are outside of your house and you look over the fence or you look out your window and you see a dog that appears to be in distress, the first thing you need to do is call animal control, let them know about it. In the meantime, if you think there is an imminent need to save that dog's life, you are encouraged to at least give that dog some water over the fence until the officer can get there. For now, we're gonna to toss it over to Melissa Crowley. And Melissa, I know you're loving this as much as Kiba is, getting uh, to show off her muffins on live TV. <laughs> yeah, she's loving it. I think she actually has tears in her eyes, Jeff. Thanks very much. Sure. <laughs> give him a little smooch. Can you can you give him a kiss for us? Lean over, give him a little smooch. Let's see. Give Come, him here. A kiss. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. No, no, uh, morning, morning, morning breath. The dog knows it, morning breath. So what bakery item does Kiba call her dog? She knows the answer, yes? Muffins. 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 In fact, I think we happen to have a picture of the muffins. You might have seen them today Just on News 10. Good morning. Oh, uh, there's the muffins. There's, aren't they cute? Yeah, they adorable. got a lot of airtime this morning on News 10. Good morning. Yeah, Jeff Marr was out telling us how to keep your pets safe in this hot mm. weather. Don't leave them in the car and don't leave them out in the backyard without shelter. But Especially if they're muffins. But you should have seen it. She was like a mom was watching. She? Yeah, and, and when they came, oh, 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 they're not supposed to have treats in the backyard. Oh, they're not supposed to take their toys back there. I've had them for one is almost mm -hmm. seven, one's five, so they're my life. You know what? I'm going to let Jet smell me. How's it going, Jet? Nice to meet you. I just want to be your friend because I did feature Kiba's muffins earlier this morning, those Yorkshire Terriers, and I want to make sure that, you know, we're buddies. We're buddies? Okay. He probably smells Kiba's muffins, so we've got to be careful with that. We're going to shut uh, the door and keep Jet in there. We've got some more things to show off here. This is an emergency kit, so if the canine, if Jet is injured on the job, kind of similar to what happened with Bodie, who was recently shot, the deputies have this full kit here where they can bandage Jet, they can take care of him, and that's just one of uh, many things that you guys got as part of this campaign. Yes, sir. Cover Your Canine provides all of these types of safety equipment, vests similar to this one. This is a ballistic uh, vest for the dog uh, that they wear if we think that they're in some danger. Uh, the canine medical kit, they also put on the class and provide that trauma kit free of charge. As a result of this year, they raised $121,000 to help purchase these types of safety equipment. Okay, Deputy Rosner, we have a live audience for the first time on our 9 a.m. show right now, and I wasn't planning on doing what I'm about to do. The only reason I'm doing this is because we have a live audience, okay. and I feel like doing Appreciate something you stupid. sacrificing yourself. I know, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna go get the, uh, what do you call it? What's that left arm thing? Left-handed bite suit. You know, I've been bit before, and I was wearing the fat suit when I got bit by Bodie, and he's already getting excited. <laughs> Why, why does he get so excited? Why, why, does, why do they get enjoyment out of this? It's one of his favorite things. He's not angry. It's not that he doesn't like you. He just knows this is part of his job. Is he smelling Kiba's muffins? I doubt it's that. Okay. It's that he sees the sleeve. And the same system that tells the temperature in the car is going to help me open this door. So if I'm over here fighting with you yeah. and I need his help, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hi, Jet. Oh, hi, Jet. <laughs> 
Hey, Jim, watch out for the wire. Watch out for the wire. Oh, that's a strong bite. That's a strong bite. Stand up. Real straight and tall, Jeff. Straight and tall. Straight and tall. He's, he's turning me, though. He's turning me. He's turning me. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna let go of it. I'm just, I'm trying to. Okay, there you go. It's all yours. It's all yours. You can have it. I don't want it. No, I don't want it. I don't want it. You can have it. Here. Jet? Jet, are you still my buddy? You can come right up and pet. You, I can still pet. Okay. He, 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 well, he wants me to put on. it back on. He wants to play some He's more. Still yeah. growling, no, he's he's still not. growling, though. He's just, he's just. Listen, uh, listen. Okay. That's okay, just see? Breathing. That's just his breathing. Yeah. Yeah. What a beautiful dog, and what a great campaign. Fine. Deputy Rosner, thank Fine. you so thank much. You for, uh, and we're going to let Ju Jet chew on this for a while. Thank goodness that's not my real arm, guys. Back Man. to you. Oh, Jeff, Hi. thanks to you and thanks to uh, the deputy. And Jeff mentioned that he'd gone through something like that once before with Bodie, the canine officer yes. for the Sacramento City Police Department, who was shot. But you've got an update on his condition. Yes, Bodie is doing great. Uh, his leg is looking good. He had his cash change, a blood test. Uh, his blood work came back normal. So basically, because of these good results, you're still looking at you guys see Jeff this? showing the marks. Yeah, that went through. Yeah. Ouch. Wow. Don't mess with Jet. Yeah, they're not the That was, what, what did you say, Deputy Rosner, 1,500 pounds of pressure? Up to 1,500 pounds of pressure per square inch in there, Joe. Oh. Yeah, that may, that may even bruise later on. Well, yeah. I imagine if you didn't have that protective casing on your arm. <laughs> I don't know how much of your arm would be there. Oh, no, you would be uh, seeing some pretty nasty stuff, yeah. sir. Jeez. Yes. Jeff, it was a great demonstration. Yes, it yeah, was. It was very good. Uh, but back to Bodhi, yeah. the, the prognosis is good. Yeah, you're looking at Bodhi there. So he just had his cast change, a blood test, the blood work came back normal. So because of this, because of these results, he should be able to get off all of his medication come Wednesday, which will be the first time since the shooting that Bodhi will be taken off of any meds. So this is certainly good news. And um, he's been doing great. So every night uh, for 30 minutes, he does some therapy. Mm -hmm. So he's working hard, hopefully, to get back onto the force uh, sooner than later. Let's hope. Yeah, we are going to take a short break. When we come back, Nick's got a most interesting uh, Skype conversation. You have got to stick around to see this one. A keyboard announcer kicked out of the game by the umpire for playing a song. I'm assuming the umpire wasn't too happy with. <laughs> News 10 and that will be right back. Let's take one more look outside where Jeff is. And there you Jet? see Jet oh. taking a well-deserved rest. Jet on Jeff. There you go. We'll be right back. Stay with us.